A long time ago, when I made a video, that is 2-3 months ago, I talked about some sectors. Basically, I talked about 3 sectors. Here comes the first one, which is the PSU sector. Defense sector, in a way, forget about PSU, I talked only about the defense sector. Second, I talked about the manufacturing sector. And third, I talked about the infrastructure sector. There I had told that the defense sector has become very overvalued. Three months ago, in between, I made a video about the defense sector once or twice, in which I also got a lot of negative comments. Regarding overvaluation, after that you saw that I made a video. After that HDFC stopped its investment in defense. There was a lot of decline in the defense sector. After I made the video, you can also go and check. So this is the thing in the defense sector, so it is still very overvalued. All the PSUs are overvalued, so we will not talk about them even now. But we keep infrastructure and manufacturing sector together. If we look at infrastructure and manufacturing for 4-5 years from now, then a lot of growth can come in it. Personally, I had thought of investing. But then I cancelled the plan, because I invest in a slightly diversified fund, so I get a better sense of fulfillment. That yes, I have invested in a good fund. I do not invest in sectoral funds, but there are many people who want to do so. So for this reason I thought of making a video, I had made it at that time and I will make it now also. That you combine infrastructure and manufacturing together and keep them in one place. Even if they are separate, there is no problem. But they are together also, so as long as the present government is there, these sectors, both the manufacturing sector and the infrastructure sector, you can take a target for the next 4-5 years. So in these 4-5 years, these sectors are quite good right now. If you look back, it has given a strong return. But that return is not of concern. Defense fund has also given returns, PSU fund has also given. But that is not of concern. What is the future growth trajectory? The money that was allocated in this budget was continued in the previous budget. The money for infrastructure has not been reduced. So therefore, the development that is happening at a fast pace in terms of infrastructure or manufacturing is going to continue at the same pace for the next four years. Even from the things that the government has said, we come to know this. So this sector becomes the first one. Apart from this, there are two sectors which we can keep in mind. Here we will not talk about EVs or any other sector. Because okay, EVs are there, but I myself do not consider myself that much interested in EVs. If you are interested, then it is okay. I do not like it, I don't know why. Electric vehicles are fine, there can be a future. The future can only be of EVs, I will not deny it. But I don't know why, I talk practically. Talking about driving or liking of vehicles, I do not like EVs at all. So that is why and if EV is also the future, then there are two such sectors. Whether it is the defense sector, the EV sector, the manufacturing sector, or the infrastructure sector. And these two sectors are not that they are needed only for four years from now. These are such sectors which can run from now till the world exists. By such sectors, as long as our country is in a good state, these sectors will keep growing. Energy sector or power sector and the second is tech sector. Now here, the biggest problem we have is this in the tech sector, which is slowly changing. The tech companies here, especially the big tech companies of today, do not make any products themselves. They provide services to companies outside the US, UK, Europe. They do not make their own products here. But this change is slowly happening. Companies coming into the tech sector are making their own products. So first is technology and second is power sector. Now why are these sectors evergreen sectors? Now look, I am not promoting investment in sectoral funds here. I am just telling you for education. There is no recommendation at all. Because I myself am not invested in them. I myself invest in diversified funds. But you people want to know, 
so I am explaining it here. Now tech and power are such sectors which are going to remain evergreen. Why? Because the source of power will change. But the demand for energy is never going to change. Humans need both technology and power to stay alive. They need it to do some work. It is not like that, even if there is no car, one can still survive. But if there is no power and tech, then humans will not survive.